That's right. Back at it again. Full custom hot dog, baby. And today we're doing another Blu-ray review. That's right, that's right. We're going to be talking about the 1993 film Skinner. Directed by Yvonne Naj, uh, which reads as Ivan Nagy. Uh, Yvonne was born in uh, Budapest, Hungary. And uh, this is released by Severin Films. A very, very solid release and maybe one of my favorites. Uh, definitely up there with uh, Combat Shock in terms of what surprising amount of content or surprising content, I should say, and surprising film that I didn't think I'd end up liking as much as I do. But we will, of course, talk about that later. We're talking about the Blu-ray first, and then we like to talk about the film. That's just what we do. So... Skinner, scanned in 4K from the original camera negative and, according to the back of the box, includes the complete hooker flaying sequence. So, lots and lots of content here. Very surprising. Uh, according to some of the interviews, it took about 10 years to get their hands on the, the original negative. And it sounded like a wild ride. And that's in one of the featurettes, mainly the one with screenwriter Paul Hart Wilden. A British, a British chap, mate. Who, uh, ooh, that was bad. Um, who, who wrote the film to take place over in England, and uh, it didn't. It takes place over here, so they kind of, according to Yvonne, they, they had to do some things to sort of change it up a little bit to make it work for the U.S. And so there's there's a there's only a few featurettes here, a couple interviews, but I think they're all very good. So while there is no commentary on the disc, which is almost always a complaint from me. I think these interviews are so good that I can kind of give it a pass. Um, so I did mention we've got Bargain Bin VHS for a buck. That's the interview with the screenwriter. Uh, an interview with Ted Raimi. That's called Under His Skin. A pretty solid interview. And then you've got a director with Ivan Naj, the director. Uh, I think that was from 2007. He passed away in 2015. Uh, these are all pretty well done interviews. Uh, Yvonne actually doesn't shy away from some of the controversy uh, that that kind of happened around the time that this film came out, which might have helped bury it a little bit. Um, he was sort of tied up with uh, the Heidi Fleiss things. If you don't know Heidi Fleiss, she was a Hollywood madam. So she was she was hooking up the uh, stars with some prostitutes, I guess, or something. I, I, I'm not too familiar. I was just a, a wee lad when that was going down. And then we've got the flaying sequence, outtakes and extended takes, and then the trailer. This flaying sequence seems like a pretty big deal. It looks great in the movie. Uh, the effects are done by KNB the effects group who did Walking Dead. We've brought them up on the house episode. I think some of them worked on Gremlins. That's uh, Nicotero, Berger, and Kurtzman, all wizards of the game. Um, they they kind of talk about how none of those guys were on set, and they sort of just shipped over their effects, and then they were used. The flank sequence is actually really good. A lot of the skin stuff looks pretty wild. Uh, this movie is a pretty interesting one, and... Uh, eager to talk about it hence why this may be one of my quickest reviews to date uh, as far as from when it came out and trust me i'm still holding on to months and months worth of discs here so anyways this is a solid solid release this gets an a minus for me i can't i usually dock points for films not including commentaries because i want them so bad however uh, i like the interviews on this so much that i cannot I just, I just can't drop it down to a B at all, any kind of B, plus or otherwise. So at the very least, this is getting an A- minus from me, but I, I really appreciate all the work that went in here. So thank you, Severin. This looks fantastic. Uh, I, I picked this up for the Black Friday special, as, as I had talked about, and it, I got the cool slipcover. Absolutely worth every penny. Severin's just as I as I say every Severin episode. Severin just has been knocking it out of the park lately. So take my money as much as you want, and uh, I can't wait to see what else you guys got coming for 2019. I'd look at the calendar for that one. Anyway, so we're talking about the film Skinner, uh, directed by Ivan Naj, who who is uh, I mentioned was the boyfriend of Heidi Fleiss, which is very interesting because Tracy Lords is in this playing. A bounty hunter who I think is an ex-prostitute, whose name is also Heidi. Uh, we've also got Ricky Lake. We've got Ted Raimi and Richard Schiff, who you may not know Richard Schiff's name, but you've seen him in things like the, 
Jurassic Park 2, 7, The West Wing, Man of Steel, all kinds of stuff. You've got a nice group of working actors, and you might be saying Hot Dog, but Tracy Lords and Ricky Lake, and I mean, Ricky Lake was in Hairspray. That that film's a cult classic. And Tracy Lords, I think, ever since the Excision episode, uh, giving Excision a rewatch has kind of made me appreciate Tracy Lords more. And while she's not a plus 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 here, I think she's pretty good and, and really uh, gave it gave it her best. I, I I hope she still does does stuff in the future, maybe higher profile stuff, because I think in Excision she just really shines and really honed in her craft as as an actress. Um, underrated. I, st I stand by that firmly. So, what is Skinner about? I, I kind of... You can kind of guess what it's about, right? A film called Skinner. You've got Ted Raimi. He's a Skinner. His last name is Skinner. He skins. Uh, you, you heard me mention a prostitute flaying scene. But that's not all. And I feel like to, to accurately give you a summation of this film, I, I've got to talk a little bit more than what IMDb is going to give me. So... Bear with me here, because this gets a little wacky. Okay. It opens up in a river. And it almost feels like a western. I, I blind bought this not even realizing that Tracy Lords was in this, or Ricky Lake. I just knew Ted Raimi, Skinner. Sign me up. Okay. Um, so, river. And it almost feels like a western, because you have Tracy Lords almost looking like a western bounty hunter cowgirl. And she is making the speech about how she's going to find this Skinner guy who's also walking down this river and she's after him and uh, I'm not going to give any spoilers by the way he ends up renting a room from Ricky Lake and ends up skinning prostitutes and hookers and Tracy Lords is after him and uh, he wears their skin and there's a scene in here that is so ridiculous and and is racist I didn't want to say kind of racist. I mean, it's flat out like it's it's racist. And uh, every interview on there was like, yeah, that scene, uh, we, we wouldn't be able to do that today <laughs> because it's so ridiculous. And it's it's so so that's, I guess, your summation of this film. You've got uh, a Skinner named Skinner who is skinning and Tracy Lords is a uh, someone who's tracking him to kill him and, and put an end to this. And uh, it's it's a really interesting mix. It kind of having having Tracy Lords as this hunter kind of adds an interesting layer onto what would otherwise be maybe just a okay slasher flick, I think. But it's such a bizarre mix of, of things you get here. It's sort of art housey, student filmy in a way, and not that's not a negative. It just has a very tight feel to it, uh, budgety without feeling too budgety but a lot of lights and if you've watched any of my episodes and anything especially Reffin you know Nicholas Windig Reffin um, you know I talk about how much I love aesthetics or aesthetic lighting uh, bisexual lighting any of that magenta blue tones purple tones I'm, I'm a sucker for all of that lighting and this film surprised me by doing that um, so you've got this these interesting lighting schemes and and it's, it's not a, a quick movie, and it's not slow, and Raimi's kind of uh, calm and dorky nerd boy, push him in a locker. And then it just kind of goes off the rails, and he becomes Looney Tunes, almost like uh, Daffy Duck at his daffiest, and just gets, gets completely wacky. And then at the very end, it's still silly and buck wild, and it's just kind of a fun ride that you don't know what you're going to get. And it kind of made me think of something like Star Time, but I think Star Time's a little bit more serious. And uh, it, it's really a, a unique blend of of things that I don't see too often in horror. Uh, with the time around the time it came out, it was very easily and quickly written off as a Silence of the Lambs uh, ripoff, and it's very much not. This, this this film stands on its own. To any genre fans, I can easily recommend to see this at least. I'm thankful I bought it. I'm, I'm very glad to add this to my collection, actually, because I can't wait to show this to friends. Um, completely wild. The effects are great. That that legendary hooker flaying scene is looks fantastic. I mean, K and B definitely. I mean, everyone knows that they knew what they were doing. It, it pops. The whole thing is just a wild ride, and it's it's interesting. There's not much like it. Apparently, Canon was was going to release this, and then. Uh, they went bankrupt part two, I guess. So that's why they never released it. 
But yeah, it's a, it's a cool flick. If you haven't seen it, definitely, definitely, definitely check it out. Uh, if you're going to buy it, buy this Severin release because it's just, it's slick. It's it's cool to see such a oddball film get so much love. Um, but yeah, so if you have seen this, definitely let me know what you think in the comments as always. I always like to hear, especially this one. This isn't one I'm too familiar with. I don't even recall if I've seen the cover in stores, but uh, I, I'm... Like I like I said a million times, I'm, I'm glad to have picked this up. So let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, I'm Full Custom Hot Dog. You can holla at me on Twitter. It's Full Custom Hot Dog without the last O, because that is just too long for Twitter. So uh, also, do not let the slideshow make you think this movie looks like pee pee, because I, I pull these slides from Google. I think it's fairly obvious. Right now, I'm working on building a new computer, so hopefully I'll be pulling my own pictures soon, which I cannot wait to do, and maybe uh, be able to give these films a little bit more justice, especially because that's what they deserve, you know? A film like this that went through so much work, it's, it's great to have it look good. So, again, thank you for watching, and uh, let me know. Let me know if you've seen Skinner, and if you haven't, ch check this out. Uh, any, any genre fans out there, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. So... Full Custom Hot Dog, and until next time.